This is what's left of Beirut's port after a massive explosion ripped through it. The site is still smouldering. Many people remain unaccounted for. The city's hospitals are overwhelmed. The blast shook the whole city and was felt as far away as Cyprus. Glass was shattered and buildings were rocked miles away from the epicenter. As they mourned the lives lost, residents are shocked, confused and outraged. With everything that's happening in the country, then the cherry on top, there comes uh, massive negligence or we don't know what it is, or an act of terror, we really don't understand. It's not clear exactly what caused the explosion. Prime Minister Hassan Diab said about 2,700 tonnes of ammonium nitrate had been stored at a port warehouse without safety measures. He warned those responsible would be held to account. What's happened in Beirut will have consequences for those responsible. They will pay dearly. That's a promise I'm making before God in the name of the dead and the injured. The disaster struck Lebanon in the midst of an economic crisis exacerbated by the coronavirus pandemic. The government has also been dealing with a popular uprising against the political class and endemic corruption, triggered by a raft of austerity measures.